Welcome to Prezium Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 117 of ASP.NET video series. In this video, we'll discuss about assigning an image to the composite custom control in Visual Studio Toolbox. In parts 112 to 116 of the ASP.NET video series, we have discussed about building ASP.NET composite custom controls and adding them to Visual Studio Toolbox. In these parts, we have discussed about building this composite custom calendar control. When we added this custom calendar to the Visual Studio Toolbox, you know, look at the image that is associated with this control. It's a very generic image. In this video, we'll discuss about associating a custom image with this particular composite control. Now, to achieve that, we can use Toolbox Bitmap attribute. This attribute is present in system.drawing namespace. And there are two ways we can use this attribute. One way is we can actually associate the image of an existing control. Now in Vis Visual Studio Toolbox, we have got several controls already, the built-in controls that's provided by .NET Framework. Now let's say, for example, I want to associate the image that is associated with this ASP.NET calendar control with, you know, with this custom calendar. Is it possible? Absolutely. We can make use of this toolbox bitmap attribute class. So let's flip to our custom controls project. So within this custom controls project, we have this custom calendar.cs file within which we have the complete code for this custom calendar. Okay. All right. So here we have this toolbox attribute, toolbox data attribute. Along with that, I'm going to use this toolbox bitmap attribute. Now this attribute is present in system.drawing namespace. So let's go ahead and import that first. So using system.drawing. So we are going to use toolbox bitmap attribute. And if you look at this attribute, it has got three constructors. The first constructor takes an image file, which, you know, the path of the image file. We are not using an image file at the moment. We are using, you know, we are going to use the image of an existing ASP.NET control. So I'm going to make use of the image of this calendar control. Now, remember, all these controls are actually classes. Okay, so calendar control is actually a calendar class. Now, if we have to use the image that is associated with this calendar control or calendar class, all we need to do is, in the custom controls project, you know, specify this toolbox bitmap attribute. And then I'm going to use this second, you know, version of the constructor, which expects the type to be passed. Okay, so to get to retrieve the type, I can make use of type of keyword. And then since I want to use the image that is associated with the calendar control, so I specify the calendar class there. That's it, type of calendar, which is going to return the type of that class. That's it, we are done. So it's just one line that is required. On the other hand, if you want to use the image of another control, maybe, you know, drop down list, you just specify type of drop down list. That's it. Let's go ahead and rebuild this project. Now let's flip to Visual Studio. I mean, uh, to the ASP.NET Web Application project. And let's go to the custom controls. Now I want to remove this custom calendar. Let me first get rid of that within the page. OK, let me also quickly go into the project and check in the bin folder and then remove it from there. So custom controls, let's delete that from there. And now let's get rid of this from the toolbox. So choose items and then let's remove it. Custom calendar. Okay, that's gone from there. So let's go ahead and re-add the control. So choose items. Our project is present in C drive. So click browse, navigate to C drive and the name of the project is custom controls project and within that in the bin folder debug custom controls dot dll and look at this as soon as i select that you know custom controls project uh, we have the custom calendar and i already see the icon here so obviously when i click ok i'm going to get that here custom calendar simple and straightforward okay so that's one way of use using this toolbox bitmap attribute Okay, we can associate the image of an existing control. Okay, and another way is if we have our own image, a custom image that we have made, and if we want to associate that, 
even that's possible. All you have to do is use another, you know, constructor that's available. Let's actually look at this. I actually have an image here in the images folder in C drive. I have an image called custom calendar icon dot bmp. Okay, look at the image. Uh, uh, one thing to keep in mind is the image height and width need to be 16 by 16 pixels. And we can very easily create this using Microsoft Paint program. And to do that, click on the start button. Uh, let me quickly show you how we can very easily create images using that. So now in the run window, type MS Paint click OK, that should open up Microsoft Paint. I want the image dimensions to be 16 pixels in height and 16 pixels in width. And to uh, you know change the width of the image, I can go to the properties of the image. And then here I can set you know the height and width in pixels. So I want that to be 16 by 16. I click OK. So it's a very small icon there. And let's say, for example, I want to fill it with some color, maybe. So I fill it with some color and then I can uh, put some text using this text box there and then whatever you want to put okay basically you can create an image of your choice very easily using this MS Paint or using Photoshop you know alright so once I have this custom image then we can very easily associate this using the other overloaded constructor of this uh, bitmap toolbox bitmap class so the other version I have is, you know, which expects the image path. Remember, the image is present in C drive images folder. So let me copy that. And then I'm going to use the verbatim literal and specify the path C colon backslash images backslash and custom calendar control dot BMP. Let's copy the name and paste it there. Okay, so we are done with this. Now all we have to do, rebuild the solution. So Bill succeeded on the status bar. Let's flip to the ASP.NET Web Application Project where we are testing it. All we need to do is remove that and re-add a reference to that assembly which should you know, uh, show that custom image instead of the uh, ASP.NET, you know, built-in ASP.NET calendars image here. So let's go ahead and remove that custom calendar click OK so that's gone there right click on that choose items and then navigate to that folder C drive custom controls bin debug custom controls click that look at that I got my custom image here pretty straightforward all we have to do is use this toolbox a bitmap attribute in our next video, we'll, we'll discuss about the differences between user controls and custom controls. In fact, this is a very important interview question as well, so please stay tuned. On this slide, you can find resources for ASP.NET, C Sharp, and SQL Server interview questions. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.